Hi everyone, I'm Ido, game producer at We Create Stuff. And I'm Yav Landau, also known as The Living Tombstone, and I am the lead music producer for the game. Yeah, so Tombstone and I, today we want to give you some insights into the demo of In Sound Mind that just came out, uh, including some new, never seen before gameplay footage. Yeah, so In Sound Mind is a first person psychological horror game. You will travel through these bizarre memories using tapes and an old tape player. And what makes the game really unique is that in every tape that you play, which is every part of the game, it tells a story about uh, a different person. And their character and their struggles completely shape the emphasis of the game mechanic on that part of the game. So for example, the puzzles, uh, the enemies, the, even the boss fight encounters uh, will focus on their story, on their mechanic. So instead of just repeating on one thing, we completely change things up every few hours into the game and add a new layer. Mm -hmm. We just now entered the first tape, which takes place in an abandoned supermarket where you get to encounter Virginia. Your goal is to lure her to five different mirrors, while at the same time avoid maintaining eye contact with her as to not provoke her and attack you. The mirror shot you acquire after your first encounter with Virginia is like a melee weapon that also has a secondary option that allows you to look behind you to see things you would otherwise not be able to see without it, such as the ability to see behind walls where Virginia and the five mirrors can be located. Our goal with the game is al has always been about telling complex stories while also making sure that the gameplay elements, such as the visuals, the music, everything, all communicate the same ideas to the player. So for example, the song I made about Virginia, which plays at the end of the tape, features parts from it such as the vocal melody as part of the gameplay. Virginia would hum the tune of the song so as to give the player the indication that she's nearby or at what stage she's in. Yeah, and one of the things you might have noticed in that is that the gameplay, you know, we have this different take on, on the horror genre. We were heavily inspired by uh, games like Half-Life, uh, you know, specifically Ravenholm, um, and the Resident Evil series. We, we loved Resident Evil 2 and 7 just recently. Um, so we sort of mashed a lot of these together um, into how we think horror games should be played. So it kind of feels old school in a sense, but uh, still, uh, you know, it brings a lot to the table. And, and one of the ways you can see that in the game is that we give the player complete control, right? So we love having action sequences and even platforming. Um, and we also have, you know, kind of the more classic sneaking and definitely a lot of uh, puzzle solving, right? So we let players play how they want to play. We don't artificially slow the player down or force their camera, you know, the player camera into one place or another to create a, you know, a dramatic scene or anything. Right. It, because again, it's always been about making sure that the game feels fun. Uh, so for example, you're going to encounter uh, one of the mannequins that you will experience around this level. Um, so, as w usually when you play horror games, you're like, okay, yeah, it's all right, it's, it's this dark place, I'm playing a horror game. But then, in what we wanted to do is to m subvert that a little bit by providing you some light elements that are more fun and humorous. So, this is Dave. Hi, Dave. Yeah, he's a friendly guy, gives you a key, and allows you to solve a puzzle by opening the locker with the key he just gave you. And then when you turn around, you see that uh, Dave has uh, changed position and he's now giving you a nice thumbs up and you're going to see it in, the, in a second because it's one of my favorite parts. Yeah. So again, we, yes, we wanted to make a horror game, but it, it's just because we co so much care about making sure that it's a fun game as well. Uh, that's why we, we make sure that it's, a part, it's about letting the player know that we understand with him that this is a video game and this is about, you know, having re this really cool moments happen because this is a video game. So, for example, we also give you action scene, uh, action parts where you can shoot and everything. Uh, for every tape in the story, there's a song that in the end I've written for it. Um, and the song's creation happened alongside development of In Sound Mind even before there's any gameplay to test because the songs drive the creation of the dynamic soundtrack, the story and, like I mentioned, the uh, gameplay. Um, it's very different from how I would go about on my YouTube channel where it came to writing songs about video games where this time I get to actually write the songs and make the soundtrack for a game from scratch and it being also my first time doing so which I'm super grateful for and and for we create stuff to give me the opportunity to uh, collaborate this deeply is like like it's an it's it's an honor honestly 
Yeah, and we love uh, making this game with you. So we've just entered um, the new part of the game. This is the second tape. This is from Alan's tape. Uh, it will bring you to this completely new area. Uh, and the emphasis here is light versus shade, right? So uh, you'll use your flashlights, uh, flare guns, and other light sources. Um, all of these kind of come together and affect the puzzles. And also uh, boss fight encounters. In this case, the shade. Yes, the shade lurks around in the ground and swallows anything that in its path. So the player has to get to a higher ground and avoid uh, being encountered by him. Uh, but the shade can still get to you if you stand too long on things that can be swallowed by him, so you have to quickly find other things to platform on in order to survive. And you'll be using also the new light mechanics in this tape to protect yourself from the shade. Like for example here with the generator. Yeah, using a light source. Yeah, so this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We have so many, um, so much more stuff we want to show, so much more stuff in store. Uh, but for now, you can get a taste of the game uh, if you go to Steam and look up InSoundMine uh, and try out the demo. Um, and yeah, until next time.